We have a couple more things I want to do with our categories. The first thing I want to do is look at the drinks page here. And you can see where we're listing the drink with the name and the date added to the menu. And then earlier in the course, I said that we're going to leave this style part alone for now until we have our categories implemented. Well, we're now at that point. So let's go into this template and start manipulating this. So when you click on it, it can bring you to the list of entries under Espresso. So in the code, if we go to our drinks index, this is our style here for our drinks table. And here it is right here. So we have a URL and then a name. And we're going to access this via the field that we set up to handle assigning a category to the entry. If we look back in our settings, we go to fields and drinks. We have, let's go to styles actually. There it is, drink style. That's the one we used. So we'll grab that handle and then come back here. And I can access this as drink dot drink style. And then here we want to get the URL. There's going to be drink dot drink style dot URL. So let's look at the browser. So if I reload, okay, you can see I get a bunch of stuff here. This isn't exactly what I wanted. This is more like some debugging output here. So what's going on? Well, first thing is that I actually need to get the drink style dot title like that. If I reload, it's still not showing anything. And that's because the categories are a collection. So I need to either iterate over them or just get one. So I could do set style equals drink dot drink style dot one like that. And then I can access it as style dot URL and style dot title. Let's see if that works. Reload. And there we go. Now we have it working. If I hover over and click, I'm brought to the espresso styles page that we created in the last video with the different recipes and drinks. And the same thing for this one. So this is all great, but what happens if I wanted to go to slash, let's say styles, and I wanted to get just a list of all of the different styles because I can go to styles espresso, but if I wanted to back out and see a list of styles, we don't have that. So let's build a index page for all of the categories. So the first thing we need to do is create the template in our styles template directory. So in our code, we'll go to styles and create a new template. We'll call this index.twig since it's going to be the landing page, the index page for a list of all of the styles. We got that. And we'll just do our extends and our block and then grab our code. So we're going to use the static template called styles inside of drinks. And the only thing I need from this is starting at the breadcrumb and then moving down to just before the footer, we'll grab that. And then we'll drop it into here and click save. Now let's look at our styles index page just to see that it's working. So if I go here and reload, there we go. We have our drink styles and a list of the categories and a description. So let's bring this to life now with the actual categories that we have. So to do that, we need to get all of the categories using an element query, but this time a category element query and then iterate over them. So here's a table and there's some rows. Here's our first row of the header and then the rows with the style. So we can get rid of everything except one. And then right here, we will define our styles. So we're just going to set a variable. We'll say set styles equals craft dot categories dot group styles. I think it's called. Let's see. We go into our settings categories. Our group is called drink styles dot all. And then with that, I can iterate over these. So I can say for style in styles. I could also put the element query right here too, but again, this is just a stylistic thing. And four, and then here we're going to output the style dot title style dot URL. And then is there a description? If I look back into my 
control panel to the fields, styles, style description right here. So that'll be style.style description. And then N4. So it should list out all of the styles in the table and then link off to them so we can actually see the entries associated with them. All right, let's take a look here. We're going to reload. So we see one espresso with the description. And I'm going to go into my categories. And I only have one category. So I'm going to create a new category. We'll call it iced drinks. Ice drinks for hot days. And we'll save that. And now if I reload, there we are. It's going to show that. And I click on that. And of course, there's nothing assigned to these yet. So I won't get any results. But here is my listing page for that and my listing page for Espresso. So now we've kind of linked everything together and now we can get at the drinks and the styles from different directions. So this is really good. So we have are almost there with completing this Crafty Coffee site. We have a few more things we need to do, but we're almost at the point where we can kind of sit back and take a sip of our coffee and enjoy and admire our work.